Extras, that's brilliant. If you have not signed a release form, please f find us now, come up here. If not, you're free to bugger off if you need to. Or you can hang around, it's up to you. It's my job. I'm the second AD, I'm supposed to be. I'm the second AD, I'm supposed to be. Inside yourself, righteous symphony. Action. I would rather let this go than to bring it up again. But everyone I know, they're afraid, afraid of their own skin. Okay, that's the stage part built, and uh, as you can see, I'm on my own in this awesome, awesome set. It's great. Uh, very churchy, which is kind of fits in with the story, that's all I'm going to say. Um, just had a couple of the extras arrive super early. Well done, you. Um, but uh, they've gone off to have a little, little wander for half, over an hour until the, the rest of the cast and crew get here. And I am busy reading the script. Usual um, ritual when you're doing a shoot like this, um, especially when you're multiple roles. So like I'm the AD too, so technically I'm supposed to be looking after uh, the extras and everything, of which there should be quite a few because this is going to be a busy strip clubby, night clubby type situation. But I'm also the gimbal operator, so uh, I've got to basically have, have the scene in my head just so I know, because I'll be doing all the movements, so pointing the camera where it needs to be and what have you, so uh, I think I've got it down now. But yeah, all that's left to do now is, uh, once Nick gets back, me and him are going to finish the stage, uh, which is basically just a load of uh, planks across the top. Nice big cloth cover, table cover kind of a thing over it, and that's going to have a pole on it. And yeah, that's the thing about making films, is a lot of waiting around. And it's important to keep yourself busy, that's a tip if you're, on a, if you're on a shoot like this. So rather than just be sat here just staring into space or looking at Facebook or whatever, like I'll go for the script, we've swept the floor and everything ready for uh, people coming in. And another tip is to stay hydrated, so I've had uh, a couple of bottles of water by now and I'm, I'm on like my second can of coke because, you know, night shoot, I need to stay awake. Mm. Yeah, in general you just need to be ready to jump in and help you know a lot you'll hear a lot of things if you go into the bigger productions you hear the phrase stay in lane a lot or words to that effect and it means you know you're there to do a job and you do your job and you don't really it's not your job to tell but people are to do their jobs or give ideas or anything like that whereas on the indie productions it tends to be more a family affair and it's all hands on deck and you know, so I'm an AD2 by most of the gimbal operator. I also suggest shots that I think would look good on a gimbal, you know, and then the director and the DP, in this case Alice and, Alex and Nick, will have a go with that and put their own twist on it, or they'll say, no, actually I want it this way, you know, fair enough, off we go. So yeah, as long as you are amenable and hardworking and you're consistent with it, people are going to want to work with you again. So that, there's my sort of top tips so far. As you can hear, it's very, we're out on the main road here. It's uh, quite busy. There's actually a big junction just outside here. <laughs> it's like uh, lorries and everything. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be back when the rest of the crew and some of the cast are back. Do the whole Hollywood hug thing. And uh, yeah, I think I need to get back to this, uh, you know, to this, to this script. So, you know, just... Uh,
I like to move it, move it, bit, bit, bit.